As you probably already know, we spend most of our time boondocking on BLM land or state land, wherever we can park for free. But there's one more place we get to park for free from time to time, and that's my daughter's house. This is her adorable little tiny house that her dad built for her. We're kind of a tiny house family. And um, this is in our hometown where we built our bus. So this is where our storage unit is and our post office box is. So we're here this week to just run some errands, go to a doctor's appointment, take care of some business. And I think Mike is actually going to attempt changing the oil on this beast. So stick around for that adventure. This is gonna be a big old oil change, you guys. This is one of the tubs we're gonna use, but we have a couple more on standby over there because we don't know how many it's gonna to take to oh. catch all this oil, all of them. <laughs> six <laughs> gallons, it says this thing should hold six gallons. These are more just to protect my hands from because we ran the engine first to heat up the oil. And that helps get the sludge all Anything that's, any particular matter gets caught up in the oil and doesn't settle to the bottom for a little while. So while it's all mixed up in there, that's when you want to do it. Also, it thins the oil out so you clear out the oil better. Ugh. Big and heavy. Stupid jacks in my way. Out. The other side. I just needed to get a better like that. Oh, just needed a better angle on it, yeah. huh? I hope this is an oil plug. <laughs> Boy, you just did not instill any confidence in me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, that was so close. Wow, <laughs> right in the bucket. It was almost at the edge, huh? Yeah. Good oh, shot, hey, give babe. me another black bucket over there, would you? Sure. Guess you're gonna have to be ready with that, huh? Yeah, let me see if that orange one will fit. I think it will. Well, I don't know, it's kind of low over there, oh, isn't no, it? It'll fit. It will? Yeah, cool. Oh, sh that'll be much easier. Yeah. There's like way more oil in here already than would be in a car. Already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, good job. Well, that was easier than I thought. Now yeah. here's the oil filter over here. This promises to be messy as hell. We gotta break it loose with a special tool and then twist it off. But the problem is when you drain the oil, it doesn't drain out of that, of the oil thing. So it's full to the top with oil. So when you when you take it off, you gotta bring it down real good and dump the rest of it in the bucket. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, and then that area will be dripping the whole time. So we won't have a bucket under there to capture that. And then, then you have to fill that, the oil filter, which is like this big. You gotta fill it to the top with new oil before you reinstall it. Cause you don't want your engine to run dry while that thing's filling up with oil. Right. So a friend of ours came over in her bus and she was just lamenting the fact that she had just spent like, I think she said $500, but she might have said $800, but it was at least $500 on an oil change. In her bus. In her bus. And I'm thinking to myself, there is no way on God's green earth that I'm going to pay some dude 500 bucks to do like drain my oil and put new oil in. Like that's insane. <laughs> Like, I felt bad for her. Cause I, th I think she even realized, I think she just, you know, got it done and then got sticker shock, you know? Right, like, OMG. Like, what? <laughs> I guess, in essence, you're saving us $500 today. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, we got about $100 worth of oil. I think it was like 100 bucks in oil. No, 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 no. Six gallons, probably close to 
a hundred or 120 actually 20 bucks a gallon yeah i think we're going to come out ahead here first. yeah this is awesome the cool thing is if we take it over to napa in wilcox they heat their building with the waste motor oil that people bring them so it's kind of cool and they take it for free yeah so it gets totally recycled yeah so awesome I'm just going to cross through this. Don't you dare. <laughs> there we go. That's it. What is that called, the plug thingy? Drain plug? Drain plug. Plug thingy works also. It's the, yeah, there's a plug thingy, obviously. <laughs> what is that? This is an oil filter removal strap tool thing. <laughs> now you sound like me. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Look, dude, just stay on there. I'm trying to work with you. Do you need another bucket to be ready? Is like oil going to pour out or is it just going to stay in the well, filter? Well, it's going to stay in the filter. For a minute. Is it sure. going to dent the side of this filter? It might, but the oil's not going to stay in the filter. It'll run down around the outside of it, I'm sure. Well, that just sucks a You lot. probably better be ready with another catch, Ben. Pour your face. <laughs> be a man. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> your face is right underneath it right now. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> this is where I'm going to get out of the way of it. Okay, I think I can handle it now. Here's another oil catch, Ben. Hold on. Oh. Oh, this is a lot. I'm just going to get dirty now. That's just how this is going to work. Yeah. At least we were I'm just for waiting that. for his laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is I don't know how many turns I'm going to get out of this <laughs> before it becomes... Well, it's going to be really heavy when it does come. All right. Oh, there it is. There it comes. Wow, clean, baby. Nice work. That is a huge oil filter. Dumping it out. Yeah. All right. In the back seat of the car on the floor, or maybe on the seat, is a box about this size with an oil filter in it. Okay. This is actually like a Wix filter instead of 51791. It's like. 51791? Oh, yeah, they just, the Napa uses the same filters, they just change the part number a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh. By the way, this is Clay. This is my ex and my daughter's father. And he's also our advising diesel mechanic. That's right. <laughs> All right, so. i take a whole gallon to fill this thing. Yeah, I need an, an assist. I do need an assist on this one. Probably an assist to get it underneath too. Well, an assist is better than assist. Ew. <laughs> You're a strange bird. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst pun I've ever made in my <laughs> life. That one was really bad. It was so bad. I'm watching too much Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> you know, I see horrible things on the highway, but nothing that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> nothing that horrible. How tight should this be? Hand tight? Um, once it makes contact, it's supposed to go a quarter turn. Is it a quarter turn or three quarters of a turn? I think it's a quarter. I think it says on it, actually. It says made in USA. <laughs> well, that <laughs> helps. Uh, one full turn. Is that what it says? Yeah, once it has contact, and one full turn. It looks wow. Like. All right. I think it's somewhere in there. It's been almost a year since I've done anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mechanic wise. <laughs> Can't even remember how to change well, the oil now. <laughs> heavy equipment wise. Right? Is that but good you do, well, you gotta lube your oh, yeah. seal, otherwise, it'll be a nightmare to get off next time. Ah. Thanks for that. That was a bit of Pro tip right disaster. there. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're probably easier to handy from over on that side. Okay. It's quite a bit heavy. Now, 
how do you, do you just make mental note of where it's at and go one full turn? <coughs> oh. There it is. Yeah, these two, the German tour, good and tight. Good and tight? Good and tight. Good and tight. That's it, good and tight. Okay. You want to push that button on that side? <coughs> Oh, that's oh. Too. sorry, I left you hanging. Oh, I can't. Huh. I gotta do my right hand. Oh, it's stuck. Sure is. It wasn't just my wimpy left hand. <laughs> oh, you mean it looks so easy. What just <laughs> you, happened right now? Might have been your wimpy whole body, didn't it? <laughs> my wimpy whole body. You might need to start working out. <laughs> Whoa, don't say those words to me. Here's the really strange oil fill. What do you mean? It's just this tube here. Oh, it's floppy. Yeah, so that's what makes it so bizarre. You definitely need a funnel for that floppy sucker. Yeah, it's so weird. I was just taught the proper way to do oil. It's this way. I'm probably going to mess it up because I'm so such a newbie, so. <laughs> that way you don't get the gluck, 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 gluck. Good to know, right? Another pro tip. Pro tip. Provided by plate. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's one. I'm confident we don't need to check the oil yet. <laughs> but... <laughs> Did you see there's no drips on the second container because you poured it correctly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Impressive. Yep, waiting for the diesel mechanic comments. <laughs> <laughs> You're pouring it all wrong. Yeah, you've got a whole crew working for you today. You got yeah. me on camera, Clay on assistant. Like, <laughs> you're hardly doing any work at all. Clay's a supervisor. <laughs> He's not assisting. He's supervising this. All right, what are we on? Is this number five? Yeah. Holy smokes, I can't believe this. Boy, it'd be really bad if oil just starts coming out of the top at this right now. <laughs> Must have misread that, <laughs> that dock. It would have been even worse if the plug was out in the bottom and it was just pouring out on the ground. Oh, what a nightmare that would have been. All right, let's check the oil. Okay. I'm really disappointed that this is over full right now. Oh, we're almost to full though. We're like a half a that little line from was about there to there. It's a gallon, so yeah, yeah, maybe a half gallon. The men are currently conferring on the oil level. <laughs> All right. Are you left-handed? No. Oh, I just wonder why you made it hard. Well, then I, it would have been really hard to hold this thing up and take it with my right hand. Oh. I missed it out here because I was just saying, this is the cleanest oil change I ever did. And Clay goes, now you're going to lift that up. It's dripping all over <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're full up. One more time here. Engine test run. From that line where it says add upside down to full, between there and there is an entire gallon of oil. And we're there. But we're going to run it. Did you check it again or are we good? Oh, I check it. I can't because I lost the paper. Look at $30 me. $30 you can spend on Amazon. No more parking. Oh my gosh, wow. your dog thing. <laughs> that worked so good. There won't be any barking for a couple That's hours. That's amazing. I wish I would have known about that when we still lived on our old that? house. Um, I think so, yeah. Because the dogs were over there barking at something. They were just standing at the edge of that thing. Just he barking. Went, like that, they both just went and left and went someplace else. What is that thing called? Notice? Like 30 bucks on Amazon. 
Oh wait, I can't. Your neighbor's dogs will never bark again. Wow. Man, we could use that a thousand times. Oh my gosh, I suffered greatly for years with the whole <laughs> sensitivity, neighbor. sound sensitivity thing and our neighbor's dogs were so awful. Yeah, still needs all. Yeah, they're not even coming back to this side of the... That was yeah, amazing. Yeah, I can't believe that. I'm getting that. Like when, the, when the, we're out camping, the neighbors are all being nuts. Yeah. It's perfect. It's when you walk up and down the street, because there's so many dogs, you can silence them all, all the way down the back. That's that is crazy. crazy. We did drink six gallons of oil out, because it's a six gallon engine. So it would make sense that we put six gallons back to get full. Yep, right to the money. Sweet. And now we have successfully done an oil change on the bus at the cost of a filter, which I think was like 20 bucks and $120 worth of oil. We're at $140 and the disposal is free. So, like, I don't know what else to say. That's way better. Yeah, okay. So you saved, what, $350 roughly? Oh well, yeah, three fifty. You're right. Three fifty. Roughly three fifty. Yeah, not three fifty. Yeah. Depending, yeah. Yeah. So. Because we spent roughly one fifty on on the oil and filter. So. Heck yeah. Oh like I was duh. Thinking, I got to come up with a bunch of containers to put the oil in. Duh. Of course, didn't realize I just would completely have them. <laughs> You're very fortunate to have this assistant over here too. That's doing the it for you. Supervisor. The, oh, supervisor. Yeah. It's whatever. Supervisors don't work. Did you already fill up three of these things? This is the third one. That's it? Because there ain't no more oil. There. there ain't no two gallons of oil left. Well, you might have made a little bit of oil. I find that hard to believe. That was easy peasy, man. Yeah. Doing the dirty work. This is the $300 part that they charge for. <laughs> 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 the cleanup time. <laughs> it's taking three hours or 80 bucks an hour. <laughs> totally. I don't think you can use the bucket for anything else ever again. <laughs> the funniest thing are the big old black skid marks on your forehead <laughs> and look down and the top of your head. <laughs> Nice. And I think there's another one on your cheek and maybe one on your eyebrow as well. Well worth it. Well worth it. Let Gosh, me see. Thanks. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, next on the things to do list, that is we have decided to add a place where we could use air tools and also uh, be able to fill our tires using our own air pressure because we have an air compressor, which is kind of cool. So, we are doing that right now. I tied in, this is the front air system tank, and we're tying into that right at the back here. So, I think one of the biggest mistakes people will make doing this is tying into the bottom here, and th what you will accomplish in that is ruining your air tools, because condensation that develops inside of here goes down to the, to bottom. the bottom of the tank. And if you run air tools that way, you're risking uh, rusting out the insides of them. So you just kind of don't want to do that. Of course, I won't be able to actually see anything you're doing, but right. <laughs> we'll have to take your word for it. Yes, just take my word for this. <laughs> what is it that's on the end of the tank? Just there, a... So there was a uh, an outlet there. It just an had a plug outlet. in it. Okay. Uh, or just a, it had like something like this here. Or right here, you can see it exactly like this right here, but in the back, back here. Gotcha. I guess we'll have to carry a 50 foot air compressor hose to reach our rear tire on the other side. Huh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, next is this one. This is the reducer. This is going to be really hard to get on. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, hey. I see what you're doing under there. Yep.
Let me just make sure this is gonna work size wise. Oh yeah. It's perfect. It's just perfect. Okay. So we got that. So what we need to do now is we need to do Teflon this bad boys. But unfortunately I've lost the Teflon. Five eighth inch wrench, perfect. So now we'll be able to screw this thing in here and tighten everything using this wrench. I think we can get one more out of this. There we go. Got it. That's it. Now we do this one. I might add a valve for this in the future only because it will make it so if this fails, our brakes don't fail. Yeah, because if our brakes were to fail, it would definitely be like coming down the backside of a mountain pass. Of course it would. <laughs> like, for sure. <laughs> Size is this one? Is it? <laughs> They're all different sizes. They really are. <laughs> this one actually might finally be my three quarter. I've been begging for. It is. <laughs> the whole time. The finally. Whole time, <laughs> finally the you finally got to be right. <laughs> <laughs> got to use the three quarter inch wrench finally. How exciting! And I have it up like this, so it's protected. So down here. You know, the more stuff you have sticking down, the more chances you have of getting ripped off by something. So up here, the chances of there being a conflict or something else is really tiny. Well, so far so good. I don't hear any major air leaks hissing out. This is actually something I really wanted to do since uh, since we were building the bus because I knew that there was going to be times when we needed air. If we had a hole in the tire, we had a plug or anything like that where we needed to re-air things. Like having this is going to be super, super handy. And uh, I know we're going to be like rescuing other people on this side of the road. Right. It's just <laughs> it's one of those things where like, you know, the thing was is that just I, I brought a compressor with us. It was like this little compressor like this. And thinking you know I would use that and I brought it out the other day because I needed to air up one of the tires and I take it out the place where you hook the air hose onto is broken off like the 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 actual aluminum broke and the whole nozzle came so off. it's totally unfixable so I throw it away it was done oh, bummer. so now I didn't have any way to air up tires in an emergency but now we do. this is gonna be way better than that wimpy little <laughs> um, pump yeah, that you did oh, have yeah. This is a dual, like a dual head compressor in the back, back there, like, yeah, it's... Heavy duty dual head compressor! <laughs> That's right. Running off a Cat 3116 compressor, it's a beast. That's right. <laughs> That's Bussy McBussface. So now, yeah, we're, that's another just a really good upgrade. 